The French Revolution was a pivotal moment in European history, and its impact is still felt today. It was a time of great upheaval, as the people of France rose up against the monarchs and demanded a new form of government. In this video, we will explore the history of the French Revolution, from its origins to its aftermath. The origins of the French Revolution can be traced back to the 18th century, when France was ruled by an absolute monarchy. The king, Louis Roman XVI, had absolute power over the country, and the people had no say in how they were governed. This system of government was deeply unpopular, and many people began to call for change. One of the key factors that led to the French Revolution was the Enlightenment. This was a period of intellectual and cultural growth that swept across Europe in the 18th century. It was a time when people began to question traditional beliefs and values, and to explore new ideas about politics, science, and society. In France, the Enlightenment had a profound impact on the way people thought about their government. Many intellectuals began to argue that the monarchy was outdated and that the people should have more say in how they were governed. They called for a new form of government that would be based on the principles of liberty, equality, and fraternity. These ideas were taken up by a group of radical thinkers known as the Jacobins. The Jacobins were a political club that was founded in 1789, and they quickly became one of the most influential groups in France. They were committed to the idea of a republic, and they believed that the only way to achieve this was through revolution. The French Revolution began in 1789, when the people of Paris rose up against the monarchy. They stormed the Bastille, a fortress that symbolised the power of the king, and they demanded that their voices be heard. This event marked the beginning of a long and bloody struggle for power in France. The French Revolution quickly spread throughout the country as people in other cities and towns began to demand change. The National Assembly was formed, and it began to draft a new constitution that would establish a constitutional monarchy in France. However, the revolution soon took a more radical turn. In 1792, the National Convention was formed, and it declared France a republic. The king, Louis Roman XVI, was put on trial and executed, along with many other members of the aristocracy. The revolution also led to the Reign of Terror, a period of extreme violence and bloodshed that lasted from 1793 to 1794. During this time, thousands of people were executed by the guillotine, including many who were accused of being counter-revolutionaries. The Reign of Terror was led by Maximilien Robespierre, a member of the Committee of Public Safety. Robespierre believed that the revolution needed to be defended at all costs, and he was willing to use any means necessary to achieve this. However, the reign of terror eventually came to an end, as Robespierre himself was executed in 1794. The revolution then entered a new phase, as a more moderate government was established. In 1799, Napoleon Bonaparte seized power in France, and he established a new form of government known as the Consulate. This marked the end of the French Revolution, and the beginning of a new era in French history. The French Revolution had a profound impact on France and the rest of Europe. It marked the end of the old order, and the beginning of a new era of democracy and freedom. One of the most important legacies of the French Revolution was the idea of nationalism. The revolutionaries believed that the people of France were a nation, and that they had the right to govern themselves. This idea spread throughout Europe, and it played a key role in the development of modern nation-states. The French Revolution also had a significant impact on the economy. The revolutionaries abolished many of the old feudal laws and customs, and they introduced new economic policies that helped to modernize the country. This led to a period of economic growth and prosperity in France. However, the revolution also had a darker side. The reign of terror was a period of extreme violence and bloodshed, and it left a deep scar on the country. Many people were executed for crimes they did not commit, and the government became increasingly authoritarian. The revolution also had a significant impact on the rest of Europe. It inspired other countries to demand greater political freedom and democracy, and it led to a series of wars that reshaped the political map of Europe. Overall, the French Revolution was a complex and multifaceted event that had a profound impact on the world. It marked the end of the old order, and the beginning of a new era of democracy, freedom, and nationalism. While it had its dark moments, it remains one of the most important events in European history. The French Revolution also had a significant impact on the arts and culture. It was a time of great creativity and innovation, as artists and writers were inspired by the revolutionary ideals of liberty, equality, and fraternity. One of the most important cultural movements of the French Revolution was Romanticism. This was a literary and artistic movement that emphasized emotion, individualism, and the power of nature. Romanticism was a reaction against the Enlightenment, which was seen as too rational and too focused on reason. Romanticism had a profound impact on the arts, and it inspired many great works of literature, music, and art. Some of the most famous Romantic writers include Victor Hugo, Alexander Dumas, and Charles Baudelaire. 
Romantic music also flourished during this time, with composers such as Ludwig van Beethoven and Franz Schubert creating some of their most famous works. The French Revolution also had a significant impact on fashion. The revolutionaries rejected the elaborate and ornate styles of the old regime, and they embraced simpler and more practical clothing. This led to the rise of the sans culotte style, which was characterized by simple trousers and jackets. The revolution also had a significant impact on architecture. The revolutionaries rejected the grandiose and ornate styles of the old regime, and they embraced a more classical and rational style. This led to the rise of neoclassical architecture, which was characterized by simple lines and classical motifs. Overall, the French Revolution had a significant impact on the arts and culture. It inspired new movements and styles, and it challenged traditional ideas about art and society. Today, the legacy of the French Revolution can still be seen in the arts and culture of France and the rest of the world.